Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I just did those big ass arms. Hug <laughs> me, please. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm D Rod, and first of all, I want to apologize for not having a vlog for today. Uh, I've been feeling a little bit sick, as you guys can probably still hear from my throat. I get a little bit manlier and a little boogier. <laughs> today, my little partner is gonna be Anger, Crystal Anger. Uh, if you guys didn't see this uh, video, go check it out. When I unboxed the Pop Funko Mystery Box, uh, he was part of the exclusive. So he's gonna help me on today's dance. Let's take it away and here we go. All right, so this time I did not take a trip to Extreme Toys. Um, I ended up where you go? Oh, I ended up going to the, to a different mall. Like I said, I didn't vlog because I was feeling a little bit sick, so I just went in there quick. And before we get started, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Give it, give it, give this video a big thumbs up, please. I would appreciate it. Again, subscribe. Hit the little bell so you get notified every Friday when I post up a video. Follow my Instagram huh, because I also do some um, unboxings of uh, mega constructs uh, little figures that i'll buy here and there probably pokemon cards uh just so you guys have a, a little extra uh, goodies to see got a toy uh, and today we're gonna have a cool toy or well, cool toys it's the power rangers lighting collection let me show you i show you my friends oh, they look freaking sick and and i did go to extreme toys but not yesterday or today it was a while back, and I ended up getting a cool little guy, which a lot of you United kids are going to remember. Bam, right there, Victor Ooze. That's from the movie, uh, the first Power Ranger movie that came out. Uh, he was the villain, and if you watch it now, it's, oh my god, the graphics. But, you know, it's for us, the graphics back then were pretty sick. Uh, and if you rewatch it now, uh, probably the younger audience will be like, what the heck is this? I was... That was a cool movie for, our, for, for us, you know, the first Power Ranger movie. We're going to unbox these beautiful guys. Uh, it's going to be a part one because I would be doing a part two for the lighting uh, collection series. So let's go ahead and unbox them. All right, so we have them here on a closer look. See the White Ranger looks pretty sick. Put him here in the middle. It has a, a comes with a head, sword, extra hands. So you guys can see right there, this is a White Ranger, the lighting collection. I love the artwork, because um, you could have it there, you could turn it to the side, turn it like this in 3D. Has a little pose in the back, uh, has no description of, of the Ranger, which, you know, usually every other box has a description of, of who the character is for people that might not know. But, and that this guy is pretty sick, as you can see right there is the pose. And then through the window of the box, he needs to go to the clinic because he looks sick. It's a beautiful Power Ranger. And there you should add it to your collection. And then this is my favorite one. Um, I saw it and I had to get him because it's Lord Zed. It, it's pretty sick. And you can see right there. And here at the end of the box, um, right there, it's what will be coming uh, from his uh, zo uh, staff. Uh, as you can see in the back, right there, and that's that. Um, just... The pose in the back, the artwork looks sick, or the picture. And also the the artwork of it looks tight. If you put it like this, you get the whole full view. Boom, boom. And of course, each of them come with uh, their own colors. Oh, crap. Whoops. Uh, the White Ranger comes with the gold. Lord Zed with red. And then we have the Power Rangers, the movie uh, uh, edition. Or Oh, sorry, Victor Ooze. I, it's Ivan Ooze. I don't know why I said Victor. I said Victor. <laughs> um, he looks pretty sick, uh, just from straight from the movie. Uh, he has accessories we can see there. And also, you get a collection in the back, uh, which comes with all these guys here. This guy, don't get confused, is not the same of this guy. I mean, it is the same character, but it's not the same uh, series. So, I'm going to go ahead and unbox. Which should I unbox first? Never mind, we'll choose uh, Ivan Ooze. There we go. Purple, that's our favorite color. I was grabbing my knife, guys. That's where I keep it, right here. Whoopsies! But he could be cutting more than a box. And of course, like I said, and the other, uh, the lighting collection don't they don't have a bio for the character, which this one does up here. It tells you the whole story, and it tells you in three different languages: in Spanish, French, and English. Right there. It's basically the intro of how he's, you know, 
how he was made, which you also can see in the movie. The shape of the box is pretty cool. Uh, they all come like this as a triangle form. Uh, it's an old beat up box. And of course, it tells you right here, it's original from the movie. It's a movie edition. It's Bandai. And it cost me 15 bucks at Extreme Toys. So, uh, fortunately, they don't have any more of these when I've, I've gone and checked. Uh, uh, I've asked and they haven't received any in stock. Because I've been wanting to get the collection. Ooh, cool. Pretty easy to take out. Uh, it just comes with a little purple background. This is, this is all it comes in. So it comes with uh, easy strings just to break them out. Oh, so here it is. Oh, his arms feel very, very flexible. Looks pretty sick. You can see right there, uh, Ivan Ooze. It looks pretty dope. Okay, this is unfortunate. Uh, well, this figure is pretty cool, but I don't. what I didn't like, it's, see, on the bottom. So you can't really move his rope, anything. Uh, it's it's glued in there. The only thing you move is his hands. Uh, you got a little bit of a pivot on the head, you know, little sides. Up, down, that's a little bit, uh, not that much. A little bit of movement. Uh, the only thing, yeah, I hate that it doesn't move the rope. It bummed me out. It's a cool action figure, but it just it bummed me out because of that. So. We're gonna take one of the hands out. I'm gonna take this hand out. Oh, comes out very easy. Oh. And there. You could have them playing. Thank you. Or, you're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? And these guys, well, you have to take their its hands to at this, at this. Okay, so you just gotta take off the hand and Put it in there and then put the hand back and then for the next one you do the same thing kind of squeeze it in there uh, it's rubber it's not gonna break and there that's you have uh his part of his rope there um that's the only accessory he's had is his extra hand which it's pretty cool but i just don't like that you can't you it, he's not possible his feet do move uh and of course it has little holes so you can stand them but there's no movement so you could pose him in different ways besides his arms and his head, that's it. But other than that, tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of this action figure. Is it, is it pretty cool? Do you guys have it? Um, if not, hey, 15 bucks. What do you guys think? Worth it, not worth it? Tell me in the comments below. And we're going to go for the next one. I'm going to do the White Ranger just because Lord said it's my favorite. And we're going to leave that one for last. Uh, so easy background paper just already outside the box mine already has dirt I don't know if it's meant to be like that but it has scalps on mine that sucks son of a Damn, this fool looks sick oh, but the, oh no uh, okay, just just I'm gonna just show you right guys real quick. I honestly don't know this part of it, but if you guys can see it right there. It's black, like it's a scuff, and then has another one on his arm right there. Um, kind of sucks, cause I mean you know it can be perfect, but still they're very noticeable. Yeah, kind of pretty. <sighs> that sucks. And the back of his helmet it has little scuffs as well. So I probably got a, a bad uh, copy. Uh, but let's just go ahead and review it besides that. Uh, we have the Sabasaur here. Sabasaur. It looks pretty sick. Uh, you can see the details in it. They look freaking awesome. And of course it has uh, its head. Tommy's head. Which it has some resemblance to him. Um looks pretty sick look at the hair you know that's Tommy's hair right there and it comes with two uh, hands as well two fists because he comes with the come at me bro hand the one to hold his gun which oh hold not his gun hold his um his sword so we're gonna see as you can see right here he looks pretty sick I love this his his I love right here the the top armor that he has because it's not just painted on him it's an extra it looks like you can take it off but if you take it off it's gonna rip off because it, it, it feels very fre uh, 
thin but i like it that it's not just painted on um that you know it's actually the extra part of the uniform and of course the come come at me bro hand right here like come on man of course you have that oval smooth movement there i mean a shoulder movement then you have the elbow they're moving uh you have the bicep move as well on um, both sides yeah. you got the torso i really like the action figures that you're able to bend them backwards because you know for different poses he doesn't feel cheap at all for uh 20 bucks 22 bucks you pay for him uh it his movements are very smooth i don't know it, 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 these feel very good their movements are so smooth man like i i can't lie to you is you know look at that it's so smooth you know i'm not even doing it hard i really enjoy the the movement on it uh, see he has the movement right there as well on the knees on both sides okay it has the the movement on the boot right there and thank god it's not a uh, a shin movement which is always right here which I think is, I don't know, I don't like the shin movements. Uh, that's just my personal choice. And of course it has its ankle, uh, which is pretty cool because as a ranger, you know, he's able to flex his, his bones and joints, you know, very good. You know, so this action figure, it's, it's pretty sick. Go ahead and get it. It's only 22 bucks. This series looks very promising. I really enjoy it. Look at the helmet. Just the the helmet alone looks sick i kind of want to just grab the helmet take it off and hopefully you know the guy's face is in there but you know the head is just the helmet um so there's no head in there uh but it's pretty sick so we're gonna take the head off see you just easily take the head and you can replace it with tommy's so it's kind of hard to pop it in there so that's tommy in there uh, other than that you know he has his awesome movable hands this one has the wrist movement, the come at me hand, which is pretty cool. Oh, they both do. So, you know, the pocket to put on his uh, Saba sword in there. Pretty sick. Uh, it has his uh, leg movement in there, his joint. And he could pretty much stretch anywhere. And look at the flexibility of that. It's it's not stiff. You can't, yeah, you don't hear anything. It's Look, it just goes back up and down, up and down. It's very flexible. I really enjoy this figure. I like him. I'm going to have fun uh, posting them pictures. So, look, see, easy. Foo, 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 foo. It's very easy. There you guys go. See right there. Uh, the White Ranger or Tommy holding his helmet. It looks pretty sick. Uh, tell me what do you guys think. You guys like this action figure? I really love it because it feels perfect for a Power Ranger figure. Um, Just love it. So tell me in the comments below what do you guys think. Uh, you guys in, uh, like this legacy collection. You guys don't. Tell me in the comments below if you have them. If you don't, what do you got? Well, what do you like about them? What do you don't? Or just how your day is going. You know, let's be friends. Like I said, Lord Zed, one of my favorite villains from Power Rangers from the very beginning. I just thought he was the best badass looking uh, villain they had. You know, you see here the artwork as well. No, Lord Zed. And the postable picture in the back. Again, they don't have description of uh, a description or a bio of the character. Um, you know, sometimes it's cool to read them. Like, oh, you know, Lord Zed came from blah, 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 blah. Just a little uh, bio uh, will, be, will be nice. So let's go ahead and unbox them. And he has all these things. So take them out. He looks amazing, guys. I really enjoy how how this is not just painted it, or or sometimes it'll be like probably like like this, very stiff, and it'll just go around. It'll be one whole piece, but it it looks very real. I love it. You know the the movement of it. Like I said, it's very smooth, um, and he has the shoulder movement here as. You know, you guys seen my, uh, if you haven't seen the video of the X-Men unboxing I did. Beast has the same movement back here, which I enjoy. Uh, and him being this bad guy and, and you know, uh, well, muscle tissue. I love it that he's able to bend a, a bit back, which is pretty cool. You know, it gives him that cool, you know, I'm, I'm come at me bro movement. His his legs are, are they look thick, but they're, they're bending. They're movable. His legs are not that, uh, well, his right leg is not that smooth it's kind of stiff uh he also has the the ankle movement 
it's not as nearly as bendable as the white ranger which he of course could go all the way uh, and of course he can you know so you see the difference there that the white ranger could bend it more of course being a ranger has more flexibility but this guy looks freaking sick just just, just oh my god i don't have no words the paint on them the the whole job of it it looks pretty sick the detail of of the of all the tissue it looks freaking amazing like i said this this part right here makes the figure for me more valuable because it's not just uh painted or it's just not a, a big uh part of it it's it looks real you know not mean real but it looks like if it's from from the show and of course the movement like i said has the the move the shoulder movement and the tissue movement there no tissue movement the muscle movement there uh, the elbow uh, of course has wrist he has wrist movement as well on both sides um he has a you know movable head uh, up and down as well you know of course his torso right there bending down bending back uh he's able to twist uh you can't twist them all the way back because if you do and you force it you're gonna end up ripping one of these so just do it as much as where he could go because if you actually go all the way you're probably gonna rip something um, but other than that, uh, just his, the spine uh, looks sick. Look at, it's just the way he bends, it's amazing. This has the torso movement, and then it has the, the, the abs movement right here in the bottom. So, you know, you get that ec that double uh, movement there for pulses. Oh, crap. See what I mean? If you move it too much, okay, it comes out, but you're able to put it back in. It has a little hole there. Don't worry if it comes out. Um, you're, I guess you're able to put them back back in for all of them just for to hold them up here on the side These don't have any But just you know the, the Z on his head looks pure replica pure uh, amazing job to the detail uh, My props to the artist, you know, you can see the brain up there it looks pretty sick as well it, It's everything looks freaking great. I love it. This the smooth flexibility on, on the on these toys are freaking dope I love it. They're not too stiff. They're they're not too smooth, but they're just perfect. And there you have them, folks. Folks, there you have them, folks. Oh, uh, so there you have all three. These two being from the Legacy Collection, and this being from the Mighty Morphin 1995 Movie Edition, um, which you can get for like 15 bucks. Uh, the rest, I, I I think they're probably the same price, 15, 20 bucks. He has a think it's one of the bombs uh, I think this is one of the bombs um, so you're able to change his hand so you had you could add his hand to put one of this bomb and then or have him hold his uh, staff with the other one of course you just put this one around the Z and then BAM Lord Z right there uh, tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of Lord Zed. I actually love this action figure. I like his staff. Um, the only thing I don't like about the staff is that uh, I don't know if if this is the right size. I thought that on the on the show his staff was like probably this high. Might be wrong. I don't know, but his staff is kind of short. This is how tall it is as the height. And but I would really appreciate it if it was like also like the Gambit version I got from the X Men unboxing. Which uh, the staff was big and he could just hold it uh, while standing and you know the Z will go above him and this will hit the floor but it's not. That's not the case. It's pretty short. But other than that, I don't care. I, I don't mind it. I love both action figures. Oh no. So tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of all these three um, action figures that I got. Tell me which one was your favorite one, which one was your least favorite one. If you guys enjoy the Legacy Collection, if you guys enjoy the 1995 movie edition, um, Ivan Ooze. I don't know why I said Victor Ooze earlier. Also comes into mind as a bad name, as an evil name. But I really enjoy this uh, addition to my collection. The rating for these two, you know, they're, I'm pretty sure there's never going to be a 10 out of 10. Um, a perfect toy, because uh, our toys have a flaw. But in my opinion, these two right here, easy, 8.5, no, 9, 9 out of 10. These two right here, 9 out of 10. This one, like a 7, 10.5. Just because it's not movable, 
you know what for being a, a, a four inch I, I guess I'll give it an eight these guys will be a nine uh, definitely this one be an eight I like these uh, go ahead and get them we can find them take them because I don't know if they're gonna sell out soon maybe not uh, they're pretty going off the shelves because I, I I seen the white ranger more and this guy sells off and the SPD sells off too tell me in the comments below uh, what do you guys think of this video you guys enjoyed it if not tell me why not um, let me know what do you guys want to see unbox next there will be a part two so I could finish the collection for these as well there will be a part two for the X-Men collection thanks for watching thanks to all the new subscribers for subscribing I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next Friday